All right, guys. So we're here again at uh, Wex Gunworks Gun Shop, um, and we're talking about carrying locked and loaded one in the pipe versus uh, not one in the pipe. How do you run them? You're crazy, not one in the pipe, always, no brainer. Yeah, absolutely. If you're going to carry a, a weapon, carry it hot. Um, it, it makes no sense to carry it with without you know when it's not ready to go. Um, if you're uncomfortable carrying one in the pipe, well, that just means you got to train more. Um, it all boils down to training, 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 training. Yeah, uh, same here. You know, one in the pipe. Same thing. You know, if you're not comfortable with carrying with one in the pipe, then you need to get more training. So. The last thing you want to do is, you know, like we said, you know, we've said before, this is your fucking insurance policy, right? So why would I want to come from concealed if I need this damn thing? I need it right now, right? So why would I want to do that and then go to town? You know, you might only have enough time to come out like this, you know? Right. Uh, you might not even have enough time to come all the way out to an extended gun all the way out here and get a proper point of aim. So, you know... Coming out and then doing this and then getting a grip is wasting a shit ton of time. Yeah. So, um, and as part of the fundamentals where we train at Vision Elite, is we train when we come out of the holster, we train by the numbers, right? One, two, three, four. So on two, you're already pointed at your threat, but you're not going to be able to hit your target if there's not one in the pipe. So mm -hmm. out of the out of the holster, you're already ready to engage, and then you can come out and take your well aim shot. You know, and then another thing too is, and I just fucking had a brain fart and can't remember anything that I was gonna say. You want to think about it for a sec? Because yeah, I have some. You know, maybe I got one give thing. Milk jugs, yeah. Oh fuck, man! Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ! You guys want some? These things are. I mean, these yeah. things are fucking good, man. You make you better, shot. Uh, no shit, I cannot. Sean, did these make you shoot better? Yeah. Hold on a second. We gotta open this. Someone's been eating these milk duds. That unicorn, maybe he was fucking eating. Unicorn. That's how I got this. Who's I, feeding the unicorn milk does? I, you know, I, I, I did some bad things to him and I stole right, this, stole this vest here and there you go, okay. guys. Um, while you're thinking about your brain fart, the possibility of an, an AD or accidental discharge coming out, not having one in the pipe, we're stressed, we have a big adrenaline dump. You know, these guys are operators. Most people aren't used to being, getting shot at, so. You know, working at fire rescue, I get the adrenaline dub, and you know, you have this hyper vigilance. So you you go to chamber around, and your and your finger is on the trigger because you don't even know because you haven't trained, and now you have an accidental discharge, and maybe you shoot yourself, maybe you shoot the ground, maybe you shoot the person. Very not a, not a good practice or or a frame of mind to be in. My my thought. Process. Yeah, I remember. You know, I thought about my fart, my brain fart. Right. You know, and here it is. So, this gun is not going to fucking go off if it's in the holster, okay? The only way to make this go off is finger on the trigger and pull it. So, no matter what you're doing, if this thing is in the holster, it's not going to go off. So, carry one in the pipe. One in the pipe. One, uh, one example I could give our students is, is I liken this to a TV remote controller, right? Your remote control for your TV will sit on your coffee table forever. It'll never turn TV on. It'll never change the channel. It'll never turn the volume up, right? This thing will sit here forever and never do anything unless you make it do something. So a lot of people are scared to carry one in the pipe because they think, you know, guns, they think guns just go off, right? That's not true. Right, so guns don't just go off unless there's a catastrophic failure within within uh, the, the, the you know internal mechanisms of the gun. Or so, it's a Sig P320, maybe, right? Yeah, unless it's a Sig P20 hit, hit the back of it. Right. But Glocks don't just Glocks don't just go off like people like to like to say they do. So nothing will happen to this gun unless you make it do something. The only way it's going to go off is if you put your finger on a little trigger and pull it, and that's it. So if you're scared to carry one in a pipe, well, that means you need to train more. That means spend more time on the range, spend more time behind the gun, spend more time dry firing, spend more time in your house, just practicing, practicing, practicing. Or because preferably with us. With the, Definitely with us, right? We prefer with us. Get out there and get the best training with Vigilance Elite. These guys got it down. Right.
But as long as you practice the four, the four fundamentals of weapon safety, uh, you, will, you will never have an accidental discharge. That's a trigger guard, guys. You drop this gun, it protects the trigger. It's, it's, com it's really common sense. Or maybe someone, maybe Sean grabs a stick. Scott holds the gun and we like put a stick, an imaginary stick in there and pull the trigger. Probably is not gonna happen, kind of like a unicorn. Unlikely. Though, Unlikely. we have seen one, no. anyway. Right. But the point is, is if you're gonna carry a weapon, carry it hot, right? You don't, um, you don't wanna take that extra second or two seconds uh, to fumble fuck with your gun, right? If, if it's hot, make it hot, leave it hot, and leave it alone. Remember that app, Hot or Not? Mm -mm. Bullshit, I saw you on there. Anyways, <laughs> all right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.